Looking into the camera is important if you want to connect with whoever is watching your video. If you're reading a script or you're on a video call, you want the screen image to be directly in front of the lens. In this video, I'm going to compare two webcam teleprompters that you can buy on Amazon. They are priced very differently, so at the end of this video, my goal is for you to understand if the less expensive version is all you need or if you need to go straight to the nicer version. I'm Brighton West and I work with professional coaches who want to use video online. If that's you, be sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you'll get notifications of future videos. More and more coaches are coaching on Zoom or Skype or something similar. But if you're watching the body language of the person on the screen, to them it looks like you're not looking at them at all. And if you're looking into the lens, then they feel they're most connected, but you can't see their body language except in your peripheral vision. So the solution is to put the camera and your monitor in the exact same place, which physics says is not possible, but magic says it is. It's kind of smoke and mirrors, or more just mirrors. I have two of these magical devices that work on your desktop computer. One is the Glide Gear, available on Amazon for $150, and the other is the Bodolin, available on Amazon for $450. If you're just gonna be reading a script like a teleprompter, I feel like the Glide Gear may be good enough. There's still a couple of flaws, but I don't feel like they're worth the extra $300. But if you want to use this for video calls, then you're gonna to wanna to buy the Bodolin. You need the extra quality to make it work when it's more than just white text on a black background. So let's compare. Let's start out with the Glide Gear. This one's about $150 on Amazon. And the first thing I wanna mention is it does come with a case, it's a pretty basic case with just some styrofoam in there. Um, and I'm sure it folds flat somehow, but for some reason I can't figure out how to make it go back into the flat state to fit inside this box. Um, it is a little bit more, there's a little more adjustments and things like that uh, than the other one, but uh, let's dig in a little further. So just like the Bodolin, it'll work with an external camera. I'm using a C920 right now, uh, and it will also work with the camera that's built into your screen. And both of them have the same problem where they show part of your screen behind and you have to add in a little piece of paper. Now with this one, I'm not too excited about the flap. The idea here is that this flap will go in front of your camera mounted there, and you'll set it up so that this hole is in front of your lens. But if you're doing it on an, uh, an internal um, camera, it just it doesn't always work that well. Um, I think the idea here was to, to avoid that piece of paper down below, but that's it doesn't quite work as well. So I put it over the top, and then I put something else over the top of that, like a dishcloth. So that's how I would use it. Now it does have a relatively limited amount of space behind it. So when you attach it to your computer, if you've got a newer computer, that's fine. But I've got one computer, an older computer that's got a really deep monitor uh, and it doesn't attach as well as the Bodolin. Now it does come with an iPad adapter. So you can use this with your iPad and it also will attach to a quarter 20 screw on a tripod. But if you're using an iPad, then um, you just might as well just use a software solution. If you're not familiar with that, I'm gonna have a link to a video up here. So the Glide Gear is a little bit harder to adjust than the Bodolin. Let me just show you here, once it's on over your camera, uh, you've got two screws, one on each side that you need to adjust. Uh, and there's it's just, there's more adjustments on this in terms of how many screws you need to turn. And it's just a little wonky here. Uh, and you need to make sure that you turn the screws opposite each other so it's righty tighty, but it's on two different sides. Um, but you can get the same adjustments out of this, but it's just not quite as convenient as the Bodolin. Now, both of these work equally well with QPrompter software, QPrompter.com, uh, to be able to scroll the text right in front of your screen. Uh, Bodolin does have a proprietary software, but I like uh, QPrompter. Um, I think it works perfectly. So the idea is you would put it over the top of your webcam and adjust all the different settings so that the image on the screen from the teleprompter is reflected up into the other mirror. This is the same idea for both of these. So now let's switch over to the Bodolin. Uh, this one is far superior. This was made in Oregon, uh, which is my home state. And I was able to borrow this from the manufacturer to test it out. It is $450 on Amazon. But if you're using this as you know the ability to see into someone's eyes, look into their eyes while you're looking into your camera, 
this is by far the, the better uh, the better option. If you only need to do the teleprompting, the other one is just fine. Bodolin is easier to adjust. So let me just put this on the computer. The way it mounts, it's got kind of an adjustable uh, bar here. So you can put it on a bigger screen if you needed to. And I'll just put this on over my webcam. So you've got this fabric here and it has a hole, a big hole in the back. That's so that you could use a DSLR with this if you wanted to. I'm not sure why you would necessarily do that, but um, it's, it's there and you just have to clamp it closed for it to work properly um, with a webcam. The adjustments though, there's just a couple of adjustment screws, just two adjustment screws, uh, one for the bottom mirror, uh, one to change the angle of the top mirror, and then it just has a glide to change the height of the top mirror. So those three adjustments, much easier than the other one. Like I mentioned with the other one, you do need this piece of paper to be able to block the screen if you're using an internal camera. I am a little bit worried about the wear here with this moving up and down and not being able to tighten it because uh, it's just working by friction. And I feel like if I do this too many times, it might just start to slide down on its own. So one nice thing here is that they've got a little piece of foam rubber where it touches the screen. So you can see on the other one, you've got metal touching the screen of your laptop or desktop. This one also works with an iPad, but once again, why? There's that video again. And even though the Bodolin folds completely flat, it doesn't come with a case. The image on this or the mirror is slightly bigger on the Bodolin, which helps when you're trying to adjust and get the other image inside and at the proper location. So what really matters most is this piece of glass. Uh, this is a piece of glass that came from California. So it's American made glass and it is far superior. So if you're doing something like teleprompting and you just have white text on a black background, no problem. The other one's going to work. However, if you want to do this by showing a person in front of the camera, then you need to have as much light as possible and you're going to be able to get that with the Bodolin. I've got links to both of these devices down below and I want to thank Bodolin for loaning me this device. I already own the Glide Gear and Bodolin was kind enough to provide a loaner for this evaluation. I've got more videos about these teleprompters. You can click to watch now. I'll see you in the next video.